Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. In this lab, we're looking at the only lab in Chapter 10, which is 10.133, Configuring DHCP Version 4 Using Cisco IOS. Keep in mind, this is the only lab that's not a lab challenge. So we'll be doing the lab challenges a little bit later. We're looking at four distinct parts. Configuring the router on the DHCP server, configuring a DHCP relay, configuring it as a client, and then verifying DHCP connectivity. So let's go ahead and configure R2. Hop in, get to its global config mode. We want to exclude the first 10 addresses from R1 and R3. So what we can do is IPDHCP exclude address, what addresses we want to exclude, start and finish. We're going to do the second uh, exclude. Again, IPDHCP exclude. You always want to make sure that you're excluding things like your default gateway or the addresses that you don't want to be assigned. Okay, so that one is right there. Moving on to step two. We want to go ahead and create our pool. So IP DHCP pool. We're going to call this one R one hyphen lan where uh, you have to give it a network that it's going to be uh, using it's going to be using that network up here we excluded the first 10 addresses we need to make sure that we're assigning a default router for it to issue default router or default gateway will be the first address which again is one of our excluded addresses Next, we're going to give it a DNS server. DNS server space the IP address of the DNS server. If we're doing a second DNS server, we could do that as well. But we don't have to. Next, let's go ahead and create a DHCP pool for R2 to go to R3. IP DHCP pool. We're calling this one R3 hyphen LAN. Again, network. What network are we giving it? 168.30.0. The appropriate subnet. Default router. 30.1. Again, that's one of the excluded addresses. DNS server 20.254. All right, so we've set up our two pools. We haven't assigned them just yet, but we've created them. So that, let's go ahead and configure a DHCP relay agent. So let's go ahead and hop on R1. get to its global config mode. And we're going to be doing it on interface 00, or gig 00. We need to set up an IP helper address so that it can act as a relay. So how we do that is IP helper address and the address it's going to be connecting to. Okay, that finishes R1. Let's hop over to R3. Enable. Basically, the helper address is what IP address to forward things to. So we're going to be doing interface Gig zero zero, IP helper. And we're sending this to 10.2.2.2.2. 2, 2, 2. 
Okay, so that did our relays. Now let's move on to setting up PC1 and PC2 to receive the IP address via DHCP. That's pretty much IP set at the DHCP. And there it goes. PC2, IP config, set DHCP. There it goes. So that's done. Move it on to part three. Let's hop back on to R2. I want to get back to my global config mode. We want to configure gigabit zero one. And we want to have this as an IP address for DHCP. And we want to turn it on. That will allow that address to be getting its IP address via DHCP. We'll be getting that from our internet service provider. And we should be good now. Let's go ahead and end show. IP int brief. And it's not showing a address up just yet. It will take some time to get an address. All right, so after a few minutes, it did grab an address eventually. And there we go. All right, so last thing we have to do is let's go ahead and verify our bindings. And there we go, we have two. It wants to verify that we can ping one another. So here we're doing 10.11. So I'm gonna go ahead and ping 192.168.10.11. Again, it should have to send out an ARP request, so the first one will time out, and then the second should kick in, and there it goes. That lets us know that we can ping back and forth, and that's this lab in a nutshell. Let's check the assessment just to make sure, and everything is there. Perfect.